What's going on, rock stars? Welcome back to another episode of The 1% Life. I'm your host, peak performance coach and trainer to The 1%, Joni Dillon. If you're joining us live on Facebook, welcome in. Let us know where you're tuning in from. If it's your first time listening, put a one in the comments. If it's your second time or more, put a two. And we love to welcome you into the show or onto the show. So Rockstars, we're continuing on with this theme. I kind of felt compelled to do a little bit of a a sales mini series. And today it's part two of the series that I'm calling um, Small Tweaks to Your Sales that can have a huge impact on your bottom line. Now today's episode is for you if you want to start selling bigger deals. You know that there are bigger deals. And if you don't call them deals, sales, customers, whatever it is. I came from the world where we called our sales deals, right? (laughs) Got a deal today, right? If you want to start selling bigger deals, but you don't know how. Perhaps it's for you if you want to increase your income substantially, or even just by a little. I think you might just want substantially or your revenue. So if you're an entrepreneur, your revenue, I call it sales as well, but sales equate to revenue, right? And um, then this episode is for you. And lastly, if you really are in a place where, which a lot of sales professionals are in right now, I mean, you lost several months for sure. I think there were, most people were not working for a a period of time if you were in the world of sales. Um, And if you were, or an entrepreneur, you might've seen a massive like hit to your sales during, you know, I don't know, April, May, or May, June, July, that kind of thing. And perhaps they're increasing, it's coming back. And maybe you're just like, holy cow, I am so so far off target right now from my revenue goal or my sales goal that I don't know what my income looks like this year. I'm nowhere near breaking even, or maybe you're totally just, you're totally deep in the red and you want to get into the black or you've got this vision or you had this vision going into this year in 2020, January, where you thought this is the income I want to make. And you're so far off that. If that's you, first of all, you are not alone, and we're here to talk about how you can make up for lost time. So this series is really meant to help you do just that. Now, today I want to talk to you about two specific tweaks that you can decide to make to your sales right now that will really help you increase your sales to start selling bigger deals, and um, I don't know, just win all the way around and your clients win as well. So if there's one thing that you may have learned by now, if you've been listening to this podcast for any length of time, it is that clients who invest greater, they invest higher into higher levels, like that level that just really stretches them, makes them feel uncomfortable. Well, that's where real transformation comes from. That's where real growth comes from. See, I'm a firm believer that discomfort is a precursor to growth. If you want to grow and look, if you have any sort of goals, sales goals, income goals, revenue goals, whatever you want to call it, if you have any sort of goals, it's beyond who you are being right now. If those goals are bigger than what you've been achieving. I mean, if it's the same goal that you've had last year, perhaps it's not, or the last month, perhaps it's not. But if those goals are like 10X goals or just really uncomfortable feeling goals, doesn't it make sense that you have got to be somebody different than you are being now in order to achieve those goals? Unless you've already shifted into that person and that's very possible and you're well on your way to achieving those goals. Let me know that you get what I'm talking about. And, and, and with that being said, deciding first that I'm committed to X goal. I'm committed to to selling this much from now until the end of the year, or I'm committed to achieving this many new, bringing in this many new customers into my business, or getting this many, this much new, um, you know, revenue added to our top line or bottom line, whatever it is for you, right? And when you do that, then you got to come up with a plan to do that. And I'm a firm believer that if you're not focused on where you want to go, you will not go anywhere. The biggest thing that entrepreneurs and sales professionals and quite frankly, humans in general lack is clarity. They don't know where they're going. They have no idea where the heck they're going. They're just trying to go somewhere. See, your conscious mind is that part of your mind that sets the goals. It's the part that says, 
I know I can do better. I know I want to hit this goal this year. I'm going to hit this goal this year. Your con unconscious mind, rather, that subconscious part of your mind actually makes you hit it or makes you not. It's the only part of your mind that's responsible for you achieving goals. And if you're not working with that part of your mind, the 95% of the, your mind that achieves all outcomes for you, right? 5% of your mind and everything that you have in life rather is driven and directed by your conscious mind. 95% of everything that you do, everything that you have is directed by your subconscious. Yet we work from this part of our mind that really manages a small fraction of everything that we do or have or are in our life. And it's just it's, it's a flawed system. It's a flawed model. So I want to talk to you about these two, a uh, couple points that you can begin to step into and embody, right? Like what you focus on will grow. What you focus on will expand. And the first thing is, it's called bump it. <laughs> okay. Like just bump it. And I want you to think about that in your mind. Now I came, for those of you who know me, you know, I came from the world of timeshare sales. And I learned this from a good friend of mine in the industry who used to work in the telesales side of it, which is she would call up owners and up increase their levels of ownership. And when, you know, they would get off the phones or when they were on the phones, you know, her manager would say, Hey, you know, I won't say her name right now, but like, did you bump it? Like, go bump it, go bump it, go bump it. She's like, oh man, okay, let go in and bump the deal. And here's the point of that. And what I mean, maybe I should tell you what that really means first. So what bump it means is when you get a yes, right? Think about this. When you, when, when someone's not at a yes, they're at a no, you just want to get them to a yes, because once they're at a yes, you can bump them higher. You can take them to another place. If they're so resistant, then you, you even getting to a yes is, is a big feat, let alone saying, okay, I want you to buy this hundred thousand dollar option versus why don't we just get you started at this 20 K and then you can bump them higher, right? Now, look, you always position high. We talked about that in the last episode. If you have not yet listened to episode 144, go back and listen to it right after this one. They don't have to be in sequential order but make sure you go back and listen to part one of this series. And my point being this, get the yes first, and then you can bump it higher. So if you're going for, let's just call it a hundred thousand dollar deal, you want to get the yes on that hundred K first. And then maybe you ask up to a hundred and thirty thousand or hundred and fifty thousand dollar deal, right? Because you already got a yes on a hundred K. How much harder is it for them to say, oh well, you, why don't you do this option? Like, does it make sense to do this? So that is um, a strategy that really, really, really does work, and it can really impact your overall sales volume and really your bottom line. So you want to look at it as in two different ways. Think of the word bump it, and think of the word add on, right? And how specifically you do this is you look at what do I have? What specific products or services or combination thereof can I bundle together and to bump the deal to, I just like bump it. I don't even want to call it anything else to, you know, add on perhaps to add on what specific products or services or next level combination of, right? A bundle, think of it as a bundle even, can you add on or bump the sale? So if you're offering, if you're a coach like me and you have a specific program and you get them into the program, what if there's another, what's their next problem? Like you wanna think of what is that product or service that you're offering solve? What's the next problem that they have once they go through that, the next problem. And when you can find out that next problem that your current program's not gonna solve, what if that bump, that enhancement actually, or that add-on actually solves that problem? So what if it's working more closely with you? What if instead of a do it yourself program or you, you know, that they'd go through that, look, does it make sense to get an extra coaching call or two coaching calls with, with me or one per week over the next month or, you know, four over the next 90 days? Would that benefit you? Yeah. Well, let me tell you about um, what I'm willing to do for you. Right. And then you, you bump it, you know, it's, it's a little bit more, but I wanted to offer this to you because I have a space or two available uh, and I think you'd be the perfect fit or I know you'd be the perfect fit. And 
that right there is a way that you can enhance the sale. You can add greater value, perceived value. They've already said yes. The worst case, this is where people go wrong and they don't bump it. They fear that they're going to lose the sale. They fear that they're going to lose it. Now, if you're in your mind, you're so worried about losing it. Are you going to lose it? Heck yeah, you're going to lose that sale. <laughs> so you got to just be comfortable. This is like the, the risky part of sales where you just like, ask for it, go in, ask for it. You, and I want you to get this. You will not get what you do not ask for. You will not get what you do not ask for in sales. How are you going to increase your average selling price if you're not asking for bigger deals? You'll never get there. They'll never have the opportunity to buy something greater that solves their problem in a bigger way or maybe at all because you have not offered them the opportunity. So this becomes more about them, all about them, than it does about us. It's about them, not you. And when you really get that, bumping the sale or adding an add-on that actually provides value and solves the next problem or solves the problem more fully, perhaps, I think it should be the next problem, personally. Like, what's the next problem? See, people buy courses or they buy products, they buy services to solve a very specific problem. Now, think about this. Once that problem's solved, what's the next problem they're going to have? I'll give you an example. So I'm a, I'm a marketer. I'm a coach, yes, but I'm a marketer first. And as a meaning, I have no clients if I don't know how to market to them, right? If I don't know how to use my words, my language, my persuasion skills, I have zero clients. If I don't get out of my own way and away, onto the screens and away from my office, I don't have clients. So I have to put my, the, my marketer hat on before I'm able to have clients. Now, the problem that most coaches face is a lead generation problem. They do not have enough people coming in the front end to buy their back end product, right? And so once, let's say I were to solve that problem. I don't solve that problem for people necessarily. Well, for my higher level mastermind clients, I do. I help them get generate more leads and the strategy to do so. And let's say I solved that problem with a course or something on the front end, and maybe that course was like $2,000. Well, what's the next problem you have when you have leads coming in, right? What's the very next problem? You got to know how to close those leads. You have to know how to sell. There's no pro point in having a bunch of leads, calls coming in like crazy. Oh my God, we want to work with you, Johnny. We want to work with you. We want to work with you. But you don't know how to convert those to sales. Make sense? So the next level problem is now, how do I close those sales? So if I were focused on selling someone a lead generation program or a you know, to, to sell whatever it is that they sell or whether it's solar sales or, you know, financial advising services. If we, here, we're going to teach you how to do this. Well, what's the next problem they have? Closing those people. Most people don't know how to sell. They don't know how to close. They think that closing is a completely different thing or the same thing as selling. No, no, no. You can be good at selling something, but suck at closing and asking for the money and <laughs> trust. You can be. And that's not who you want to be. You want to be the person who not only knows how to present an offer, but also knows how to go in and get the money today. I'll give you an example. We have an awesome client. She's new. She's brand new. <laughs> she's learning. And she's stepped into the world of coaching. Um, and, you know, it, it occurred to her that, holy cow, in order for me to be good at this and grow my coaching business, I actually have to become a closer, she, she hadn't equated the two, right? Like it's not just about the coaching, the actual process of getting a client, a transformational result or transformation. I have to get the client in the door. So I'm actually a closer. And so as we build out her new identity, which we teach in our brand new, oh, something exciting. I'll tell you about here shortly, our upcoming challenge. Her new identity is a closer, a top closer, uh, you know, she wants, I think, I can't remember the exact percentage, but a, you know, 50 or 60 or 70% closer. And meaning every person that she speaks to, that was, I think it was 50%. So if she speaks to four people, two of those become clients. Now, when you're selling courses and products and coaching for 5k, 10k, 15k or more, that adds up to a lot, right? Now you have, then the next problem is like, how do I get people, enough people in the door once I figure out how to sell, right? So that consistently now it's systematized where I don't have a me problem picking up the phone. That would be the next level problem, right? So there's, there's problem after problem after problem. Now you shut one door and then a new problem opens, right? Close one door and a new problem opens. 
as you grow your sales or your business. So you want to think of what can I do to, what can I add on? What can I do to bump this, to really make that, that next thing that's going on in their mind? Maybe it's a service thing, right? Jeez. Once I get in, once I be, you know, from my old industry, once I have this level of ownership now, how are we going to use all these benefits? Well, what if you were to be that service professional that comes with it, that actually does what you say you're going to do and actually helps them, you know, book those trips, book those vacations, do all the things that they really have been lacking on or have been promised and not getting. So think about how can you bundle in a next level outcome or result that uh, enhances the sale, increases the price. You got the yes, now bump it. Make sense? Hope you like that. And here's, again, the thing that I really want to emphasize is that you don't get what you cannot get what you don't ask for. So you'll never be able to increase your sales price, your average selling price, or even your income, anything if you don't ask for bigger deals, right? So I hope that helps. And then the second thing I really wanted to talk about today with you is if you want to make small tweaks to your sales that have a big impact on your revenue, on your bottom line, on your income, then this one is really key. And this is where a lot of people fail. It is so simple, yet can be so overcomplicated. Know your numbers. Know your numbers, right? What is your current average sales price? What is your average selling price right now? How do you figure this out? Look, if you're selling $100,000 in a month, hypothetically, and you have five sales, then what that means is that your average sales price is $20,000, right? Now, if you have 100 customers that you are bringing into your company or business in a month, then, and, and you um, have five sales, then it's one, uh, if you have 100 customers and you have five sales, did I say that right? Um, oh God, like I'm not, all of a sudden I can't do math in my head right now. A thousand customers. Oh, it's if a thousand customers, it's a hundred dollars. Got it. So, um, what, you know, you get the point, right? Your average sales price. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what you want to do. You want to take the number of customers that you have divided by what your total sales are. And, uh, and don't try doing math while you're on, you know, podcasting live. I had one of my mentors, he would be on stage. Incredible. And he's like, brilliant, man super brilliant guy. And he's like, look, put me in front of a stage and, and give me a, a whiteboard or a flip chart. And I will not be able to do math all of a sudden, 200 bucks, excuse me. So my notes were all flubbed up. I was like, yeah, doing the math in my head. That's not right. So a thousand customers, five sales, 200 bucks per sale, right? So you want to figure out what is that? And if you want to increase your average selling price, and you got to know where you're working from in order to increase that. Otherwise, your unconscious mind, that part of your mind that's the goal getter, has no idea where to go. It has to have a, like, here's where I'm at. What you focus on grows and expands. If you don't know where you're at, how do you move the, the needle, right? You can't because you don't even know where you're at. You have no, no, no set point. So know your set point and focus on it. One of the things I did really well back in the day when I used to slang timeshare was I know my numbers inside and out. I really would. I would go in in any given day, on any given day, I would know exactly where I was. I would know what my VPG was, which means our value per guest, how many people of the dollars that I had sold and the customers I had brought in and, and helped with their vacation ownership plans. I knew that at any given time, I was at this exact number, pretty close down to the dollar exact number was my value per guest. Now, I would also know my closing percentage. And once I drop below 40%, like for me, that was a target. Like I would always be 40% or higher in my mind. And if I drop down to 37, I'm like, oops, something's going on. What is it? That something's going on. And I would look for the thing. And typically more times than not, it was in my mind or I was cutting corners and not going through this, the system, the process. Look, it's so crucial to know your numbers. Ignoring them gets you nowhere. I've, I've spent time even ignoring my numbers in my business. It got me nowhere. You have to know them. You have to see the ugly in order to prove, improve upon it and make it pretty. If you don't see the ugly, how do you make it pretty, right? And that is so essential and so key. So knowing your numbers is going to naturally help you increase your numbers. There's a thing called the reticular activation system in the mind, right? The brain. 
and think about it this way. Has there ever a car, been a car that you just hadn't really noticed and then maybe a friend told you about it, a new car? And uh, I'll give you an example. So my boyfriend, he for some reason just loves Broncos and Ford put out a new thing that they've got this new Bronco coming next year and he's all over. He's like, oh my God, I got to get this new Bronco. Break. I got to get it. I'm like, oh my God, like, oh, I'm just not a Ford gal, but, or a Bronco gal, but yes, babe, get your Bronco. So he puts it in order for whatever he had to do for it. All of a sudden, I kid you not, from that day on, he's seeing Broncos everywhere, all day, everywhere. And it was nowhere near his focus until Ford came out and said, they've got a new Bronco coming out. And all of a sudden it's everywhere. I know this has happened to you. So the reticular activation system, when you start looking for something, it will appear, you will look, for, you will find more evidence of that. This is why I really encourage my clients. We do this in, in, our, in our challenge, our um, challenges that we run, our online challenges, where it's like, what are your wins? Focus on wins. If you're not seeing wins and all you're seeing is failures, guess what your unconscious mind is looking for? More failures. And that's why they keep appearing. So if you start looking for wins, no matter how small they are, more wins appear. When you start looking for evidence that your numbers are increasing, the reticular activation system is looking for evidence that your numbers are increasing. It's going to go out and create that. Your unconscious mind is so powerful. Remember this, your conscious mind's the goal setter, your unconscious mind is the goal getter. Align the two so that your conscious desires and conscious intentions become what you actually manifest in your life and your life becomes absolutely unstoppable. Rockstar, if you enjoyed this episode of The 1% Life, tag somebody in the comments below, share this out, share the link, take a screenshot of this, tag me on the gram, let me know what you liked, loved, and want to hear more of. Simply just keep tuning in. And oh, 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 oh my gosh, how did I forget? <laughs> we have an incredible new thing coming up that you want to be a part of. And it's called the Get Primed P-R-I-M-E-D, primed, like prime your mind, the Get Primed Challenge. It's a seven-day online experience from the comfort of, you know, your cell phone, the comfort of your cell phone in your home or your laptop. And what I'm going to be do, doing with you, for those of you who are entrepreneurs, sales professionals, coaches of any sort, Anybody who sells anything high ticket, right? If you sell a product that's, you know, let's just call it over $2,000 and heck, yeah, truth is you don't really have to, you could just want to do that. If that is who you are and you are looking for, how do I make up for lost time right now, Joni? How do I sell more than I've sold in a small period of time? Because right now we're entering, uh, look, not entering, we're in the fourth quarter of the year right now. Wow, crazy. And this is your time to shine. So can you do it? Yes, but you got to do something different. You got to be a different person. I'm going to show you how to tap into the power of your subconscious mind. So that part of your mind that gets results. So you can literally, maybe some of you will be not only doubling your sales, tripling, quadrupling, 10xing your sales from now until the end of the month and the end of the year. Wouldn't that be nice? So join us by going to get primed challenge.com that's get primed p-r-i-m-e-d challenge.com totally free that's the best part totally free my gift to you uh, of course you'll have an opportunity to join me backstage on the once you opt in you can join me backstage it's like pennies a couple coffees out and where you'll get to interact with me get some extra live bonus sessions and some other little goodies that we want to offer you total candidness on that we'll can't whatever the word is you know <laughs> um, we're excited to see you it's october 19th is our go date and if you can't make it for the live sessions you can catch the replays whatever you do join it free at least and uh, watch and be committed Show up every day, have me help you, train you to tap into the power of your subconscious mind so you can sell more deals, change more lives, and create incredible impact on those who you serve and in the world. Rockstar, you deserve it, and they do too. So thrilled that you were here joining me today, and I cannot wait to see you on, uh, yeah, let's just continue the series. What do you think? Do you want me to continue the series on sales? Are you getting value from it? If you are, leave me a rating hopefully five stars and a review. If you're online, if you're on Facebook, leave it in the comments below. 
what you want me to talk more about as well. Give me some ideas. We're going to start taking, oh, 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 I forgot to mention this. We're going to start taking uh, Q and A's from you guys. We're going to have you call in. If you're interested in having me answer your specific question, you'll be able to call in, leave that message for me and I'll um, air it either on the show or read it out loud and uh, answer your questions. So that'll be coming up soon. Stay tuned and get out there and create an, an unstoppable day. Peace.